Welcome to this week's Job of the Week. This week we are talking about parsing massive JSON files. A bit different to previous examples, but let me explain. Many of us have been in situations where we've had to work with massive JSON files. Not one or two megabytes, more like several hundred megabytes up to several gigabytes. The problem many of us have experienced is the dreaded Java Lang out of memory error. This is because the JSON needs to be loaded completely into memory before it can be processed using the out of the box tools. Well, one of the great things about Talend is that you are not restricted to out of the box. We're free to create our own mechanisms to get around hurdles like this. That is what I have done here. I have taken a fundamental principle of computer science, divide and conquer, and applied it to this problem. But while I explain what I have done, let me first demonstrate the sort of problem that you can get. I have a JSON file which is 1.8 gigabytes. I'll try running this using the standard components that do everything in memory. Here I have a tfile properties component to show the file details. And here I'm using a tfile input JSON component to loop on the first array and then use the JSON path queries to extract the data I want. You can see the file path and file name here. The loop JSON query here. And the JSON queries for the required columns here. Tfile input JSON component will output directly to a tlog row. Let's run it. Here you can see the file details. You can see the file size here in bytes. It took a while, so I fast forwarded. Here you can see the Java Lang out of memory error. But let's see if more memory can solve this. Go to Advanced Settings, click on Use Specific JVM Arguments, and change the XMX argument from 1024 megabytes to 4096 megabytes, 1 gigabyte to 4 gigabytes. Now let's try that again. As with last time, this takes a while, so I've sped it up. Here you can see exactly the same error. Now let's try my workaround to this. I've already built a sub job in this job to demonstrate this. Let me activate the section. I'll also deactivate the subjob we've just seen. I'll keep the file details section. I've decided that it's probably best to have the subjob firing after the JSON is processed, as I know that it'll work this time, and you'll miss it if it's at the beginning. I've also added a tfile output delimited component to output the process data to a CSV file. I'll deactivate unnecessary tlog rows. Let's look at the tjava flex. This is where all of the configuration is. In the start code section, we make use of the Javax JSON stream JSON parser class. This is used to drive a while loop. We instantiate that class with a routine method I have created which returns a JSON parser object using the file we used for the previous test.
It also uses the same JSON path as the loop JSON query in the tfile input JSON. In the main section, we use another routine method I've created called getNextDataset. This is used to extract each array element and return it as a string to the JSON column. In the end section, we close the while loop, which is opened here, then close the stream using a routine method called closeStream. Let's have a very quick look at the routine called JSON stream. I've added comments throughout this routine and this will be available with the job. Here is the class or routine name. This is the create file stream method used in the start section of the tjava flex. We instantiate the JSON parser here and set the JSON path we want to split on. Here we have the get next dataset method. This goes through the stream and looks out for JSON tokens. Using these tokens, it identifies where in the file we are and calculates whether the data needs to be included in the string returned. Here we have the close stream method, which is called to close the stream at the end of the file. The rest of the routine is made up of private methods, which are all commented. You can check this out when you download the job. I should point out that this was written quite quickly and I'm not an A-star Java developer, so there may be the occasional bug and I'm sure there are more efficient methods. Please feel free to contact me with any improvements that you make. Going back to the tjava flex component, here are the methods I've just shown you. OK, let's run the job. First, we'll clear the output window. Let's switch back the XMX Java argument to just 1024 megabytes or 1 gigabyte. And now let's run it. This is going to be slow because of all of the media software I also have running at the moment, so I will speed it up. I should point out where I got this 1.8 gigabyte file. It's Google location data. I'm one of those people who sees the benefits of allowing Google to track my location with my phone. If I decide to move into the world of espionage or underhand and quite criminal behaviour, maybe I'll switch it off. But I found this quite interesting. However, you can see that I'm blurring this section of the output out because I don't want any of you guys stalking me. So you can see that that worked and processed 3,261,196 array elements. But it took a while on here due to the media software I am using to record this. Here is a screenshot of the rows per second stats, shown on a job that I run without having memory hungry software running in the background. You can see that this is a lot faster. Here we can see the file details, the size, the file name and the path. Here is some of the data that has been output. This has been extracted using a t-extract JSON fields component. The data was printed out using a t-log row. As with before, all of this work will be available for you to download. I'm not supplying the 1.8 gigabyte location data that I've got. You can download that by going to Google and extracting your data, if you haven't switched it off. Alternatively, you can find another JSON file that is massive and alter this job to work with your file. This job was written using Talent Open Studio ESB version 8. I'm always interested in feedback, so please do get back to me with any questions or maybe something that you would like to look at in the future.